Well, hello, lads and ladettes. I hope you're all doing well. We're here once again for a squad review. Firstly, I would just like to apologise for no videos yesterday. I didn't really get time, and anyone that was following me on Twitter knows that I had a pretty heavy night on Saturday night. So if you're not following me on Twitter, guys, the link will be down in the description as always. Please do hit the follow button on there. Um, I tend to tweet quite a lot, and I do answer more of your questions on there than I do via PM. But we've got the first, uh, the best, I should say, really, um, bronze skiller squad. I had a few, so guys, what I really want from you is to send me your bronze skiller squads. That's probably going to be the next review as well. This is one of the only ones, if not the only one, that had 100 chemistry. The rest were just, you know, thrown together and that was it. So, obviously, you've probably noticed already it's not full uh, full bronze, sorry. But, uh, you know, I let, I let this person off. You know, the, the team is pretty good. Very, very cheap, actually. You want a cheap squad as well. For the starting 11, as always, guys, I don't do the bench. It was 12,850 coins. You know, you could take out the keeper and save a little bit and obviously uh, the guy here from Nottingham Forest. Maybe you can mix it up. But uh, the Polish guys are definitely, definitely cheap. I mean, the left mid here was 200 coins. You can't go wrong for 200 coins. I'll get onto those in a minute, guys. But something I did find, when you're searching on the Ultimate Team database, again, will be in the description. You can't search for, is it Podolsk? Podolska League or something? Uh, Polska League, sorry, I was close. Uh, you don't search for that. There's another name, I'm not even going to try and pronounce it. So what I'll do, guys, is I'll put that in the description as well if you're ever struggling to look for the Polish League. So we'll start up front. You've got Largo Jr. here. Really good um, striker, to be honest, from the Ivory Coast. You know, same place as Didier Jogba. Very, very cheap player. He has got four-star skills as well. I am one that loves bronze four-star uh, strikers. You should know that by my Bradshaw. Uh, 80 pace on this guy, which is good. 57 shooting isn't great, but again, with bronzes, you, you can't really go wrong. 66 in dribbling, of course, and 67 in heading. So a very, very good striker up front. Everyone knows Zaha. He went up to 5-star, then got dropped down to 4-star. I believe at the moment he is still 4-star. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I do think that is the case. 4-star, of course, skill moves. 83 in pace on him, 55 in shooting, 75 in dribbling. Very, very, very solid card. Obviously, the most expensive guy on this squad. Then next to him, you've got, uh, is that Keynes or Kearns? Sorry if I uh, butchered the name. This guy is four-star skills. He also has a four-star weak foot, which is definitely uh, an advantage, you know, if you are going to be shooting from both sides. You can play him wherever you like, to be honest with you. 81 in pace, 54 in shooting. Again, good. 63 in dribbling. So a very, very solid right mid, to be honest, guys. Then we have the silver of the squad, Majeski, I believe. Obviously, to link up with the Polish guys over on the left-hand side. Not a bad card. He himself is a three-star skill, so it would have been better if he was four-star, but, you know, you can't really complain, to be honest. Not too expensive, but I think it was a couple of thousand. 71 in pace, 70 in shooting, 69 in passing, and 74 in dribbling. So he's going to do good for for the team, and obviously the team here is only two-star rated. I'm guessing if you took Kilkenny off the bench and put on a bronze, you could probably drop that to one and a half. I'm not sure. And someone I've never heard of before, Sawanta, or Sawala, sorry, doesn't look the best in the world, but this guy, you know, is four-star skills as well. There are quite a few of these guys kicking around. <laughs> he paid a whole 150 coins for this guy. So if you can fit him into your squad, guys, definitely, definitely worth doing. 62 in pace, 53 in shooting, 66 in dribbling. So again, not the best cards ever. But, you know, if you can scale around people and then get it up to the strikers, get it up to Zahar, you're going to be fine. You're going to be able to score quite a few goals. Then we do have the left mid. Again, another player who's got four-star skills and four-star weak foot, guys. So you're going to be able to score the same with the right mid. You can, If you want to swap them over, you can. It's not such a big issue. You've got 80 in pace, uh, 66 in dribbling. Again, good, 54 in shooting. They're all around the 50s, to, you know, medium to high 50s. So cannot complain. Again, this guy's a whole 200 coins. Can't go wrong when you're spending 200 coins on someone with four-star four, four -star skills, to be honest, guys. Then we have a left back that I'm not going to pronounce. Not the fastest. I didn't want to bring you just a solid pace squad. So as I've said before, guys, I want hybrid bronze squads. You can have as many leagues as you like. You can have two. You can have five. Just I want something unique, guys. I preferably wouldn't like all British league. Uh, you know, that's not too difficult to do that. So try and be unique, guys. Try and send them in. I really, really would like to see them. 71 pace on this guy. The rest of the stats, you know, are, are, are kind of basic. But something that has just made me chuckle is a 63 shooting. I don't think any of these bronzes beat that, do they? No. So the left back actually has the most shooting uh, out of any of the bronzes, so that's not too bad. But uh, 71 pace isn't that, you know, isn't isn't too bad as well. And I can see why he's got this uh, Mac McPacky, McPale. It's kind of difficult to see on the bronze one, guys, but uh, let's have a look on here and try and get this for you. McPacky, 
So sorry about that, but uh, 550 coins, can't complain to have 78 heading on a defender, especially as a bronze defender is really, really good. 67 in defending isn't bad either. Then we have uh, another guy here, so I'm just gonna, not even going to try and pronounce some of these names to be honest with you. 80 in pace, brilliant. 70 in heading and 68 in defending. You know, you're not going to complain about any of those stats. He was expensive. 2,300, not too bad actually, you know, plays for Peterborough. Linking up with Little over here, 81 in pace. 64 in heading and 66 in the uh, 64 in defending sorry and 66 in heading you know very very good stats really on a 62 left back there you know the outfield 11 guys really really good I, i'm still looking at majeski in the middle here wondering whether there's a better you know you could put a better person in obviously dropping the rating as well let me know in the comments guys would you change anyone would you bring anyone in we'll just show you the keeper here We've got matt jilks 73 in diving 68 in handling 66 in kicking 64 in reflexes and 72 in positioning so a nice keeper to have i can see why obviously he's done that the best keeper you can have is obviously going to save especially against bronzes so we'll just show you quickly on the bench here 451 is obviously his desired formation most of these are in 451 and then we get to a lot of the skillers this guy's obviously a skiller when you've got people like danilino and lincoln and stuff and uh, el shawari on here you know that he's uh He's a skiller. So let me know what you think, guys, in the comments below. It would mean a lot to me. If you could drop a like as well for the first uh, hybrid bronze squad on the channel. Hopefully, the you know the best is still to come. I will video response the video that I've put up, guys, which shows you how to submit your squads. A lot of you are asking. And it shows you how to title them as well. So there's a better chance of me reading them, guys. So hope you have a wonderful evening, guys. If you're not subscribed, please do. A lot of stuff coming soon. Other than that, I hope you have a wonderful day, guys. And I'll catch you all later. Bye.